All right, so let's keep Ubuntu running on our Harper V server. Uh, but in this case, we're going to select new virtual machine, give it a descriptive name, and I don't have anything else running Ubuntu, so I'm just going to call it Ubuntu uh, so I know which one it is. And I'm going to select Gen 2 so we can get the UEFI support going on our Ubuntu VM. Select a reasonable amount of memory. I'm just going to stick to 4 gigs here. Put it on a network if you want. My demo network has a DHCP server, so I'll select that one. Ubuntu is not really discontensive, but I'll give it 40 gigs just in case. And here's where we want to select your Ubuntu ISO file. Uh, so I've got mine in downloads. Just called Ubuntu 18.04.1, the latest. Go next and finish. And then there's just one other step that you need to do. So we'll open up the settings for this virtual machine. And under security, you want to switch the template from Microsoft Windows to Microsoft UEFI Certificate Authority. And then, this isn't a required step, but I always like to give it a little more processor. A default of one is pretty, uh, pretty lackluster. So then we'll go ahead and connect to it and start her up. So here we're seeing the boot menu. We're just going to select the option to install Ubuntu. All right, and what's the setup loads? Uh, you want to select the language. So I speak English, obviously. So I'll select English, hit continue. And here, typically, you'll select English US if you type on a QWERTY keyboard. Uh, I type on a Dvorak keyboard, so I'm select Dvorak, click continue. And if you're installing this for desktop use, for instance, you want to leave the normal installation option. I'm going to be using this with some server applications, so I don't need any of the Office software, the games, or the media players. So I'm selecting minimal installation. And then for the disk layout, if you know what you're doing, you can select something else. But typically speaking, erase and install Ubuntu, just letting it automatically do the partitions, that's just fine. And in my case, it's fine as well. So I'm just going to select that default option. And then here it's just telling me what it's doing with the partitions and the formats for those partitions. Cool, and now the install's running. We're going to tell it what side of the world we live in. I live on the west coast of the U.S., so I'm going to select the west coast of the U.S. there. Let's see, come up with a name for my user. Anthony, I'm going to pick a password. It's a fair password, which probably should make it a strong one, but, you know, demo environment, I'm going to leave it as, as fair. I am going to leave it set to require my password when I log in. And we'll hit continue. And so here's where it's uh, copying files currently. It's once it gets those copied, it'll go through and do the install. And then reboot, and we should be at a logon screen. And this, this may take a few minutes, depending on your setup. All right, and when the installation has completed for your Ubuntu VM, I'm going to go ahead and select the option to restart it. And then once it restarts, we should be staring at a logon screen. All right, sweet. So to demonstrate, we can actually log in. There we go. Thanks for watching.